Hey guys, you're Marty Gigan. This video I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the Azul Byte 3 Mini Desktop PC. Keep in mind, this was actually sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So this video is actually sponsored by Azul. Last year, I actually received one of these, but it was the Byte Plus, and I did a video for it. I think it was September last year. It's a really, really, it was a really cool device. For those that never seen this type of devices before, uh, this is basically a full-blown PC, but but that is really tiny and it can actually fit under your TV or whatever and you can use it like a home theater PC as well if you want because it has everything that you need that Windows 10 actually delivers for you right um of course this is the unboxing i already used this for over two or three weeks already and i put it right back in the box you have an idea how, what would you receive when you get this right so right here you says quad core intel intel apollo lake processor it has a quad core 1.1 gigahertz if i'm not mistaken four gigabytes of ram keep in mind there is another version that comes with eight gigabytes of ram but this is the four gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of internal storage which is not that much but you can actually put up to 256 gigabytes using the micro sd slot uh it has of course it's compatible with m2 sata slot as well and it has it's also compatible with 4k at 60 frames per second when it comes to watching videos okay so here let's go ahead and open this up uh, this is all the paper you're going to be receiving with it. Some instruction manuals. You got some ads here for an IP VPN and all that. And of course, you have a quick guide on how to install this, which is honestly really, really, really easy. Here you have a little better look there of the specification. If you want to pause the video right there, you have the storage, the VGA output, output USB ports, SD card, SATA slot, 3G support, IR output power supply all that right there right there and that's it so here let's go put this to the side and right here let's go open this little box right here which like you see there i had to cram everything in there because it, it was kind of hard put everything back into the little box um here let's go ahead and see this uh, this right here is basically some things that you can actually use like for example if you want to stick this to the back of the TV or something like that or to the wall uh, these are some things you can actually use for that um, here you got the power cord uh, which is weird here when I saw this I was like what the hell is this right here and I guess I guess this is for example if you live like in uh, European territory and you have like a different plug so i guess they'll send you this same adapter right but with a different uh these plugs so right there you will put that like that and that's it that's how it actually goes which is kind of clever i never seen it done like this um and that's pretty long this is basically like around six foot long so you could put the use it uh to put it you know a little bit separate from the device here you got an ir controller which is cool because like i said you can actually use this device as a media device or home theater pc so if you're going to use it like that this is a great controller to have and what's great is that it actually comes included in the box there's no extra price for this um you got the power button here you got settings button there you got the volume button right there which actually mutes here you have the controls for it uh you got the settings button uh here you got the home tab um when you press this it actually opens the the windows tab uh, you got volume up and down and that's it so here it has some batteries there as well but it's pretty cool that this actually comes included with the device and basically that's it here now when it comes to this device which is the main guy here in the video uh, it has this warning label because it gets hot uh, honestly i didn't notice it getting too hot of course i'm not i'm not touching this device all the time but the times that i did touch it it was actually warm not really hot at all so here you have this right here which is a button when you're going to turn it off for the first time you just press it right there it's going to be red when you plug it in it's going to be red when you turn it on it turns blue that means that it's totally powered up here you have the ir receiver right there the ir receiver that's because of the control and you got the byte 3 brand right there here you got some ventilation there 
um, over here in the back you have this antenna which remember this device is actually a dual band device let's, let's go and take this all out Okay, so like I said, this device actually has wireless dual band. So that means you can actually connect it to 2.4 gigahertz or 5.0 gigahertz. It also comes with Bluetooth 4.0 as well. Uh, here in the back, you have a VGA port, uh, HDMI port. Keep in mind, you can actually use two monitors using this device as well. So you can have one monitor watching one stuff and the other monitor working on your documents and all that. Um, here you have a Type-C USB-C which is really good because it's way faster than the normal USB um, ports. Um, and of course, you here, this is where you're going to plug in the power. Here you got Ethernet port right there. But remember, this comes with wireless, so you don't really need it. Unless you're going to be doing like a lot of streaming or downloading stuff, I recommend actually using the cable, of course. Uh, Kensington lock right there. You got headphone jack as well there. But you could use it too. Like, for example, if you're going to use like a couple speakers, you can actually plug it right there and get audio from there as well. You could do that there too. Uh, here it has two USB 3.0, one USB 3.0, and a USB 2.0, which is really cool because in uh, if I'm not mistaken, it actually has more uh, more ports when it comes to USB than the one that I did last year. That's really, really damn good. So of course here you got the SD card slot where you could fit up to 256 gigabyte by just adding a card like this, right? And just putting it right there. It doesn't go this way, it goes the other way around, just like that. Of course, you could put a micro SD card slot, but you actually have to use the uh the SD card adapter there, and basically that's it. Now you must be asking where is the SATA cable or the SATA slot for the M2 card? Um, well, that would be right below here. You have to unscrew these four screws right there. There's four screws right there. And once you do that, all you gotta do is reach out here Take this cover off and there you go you have access to the internals and right here these two cables are actually going to be the sata cables that you're actually going to need for your card right there so there you have it you're here right here you can see the uh, look of the internals there now of course like i said you can actually use this controller if you're going to use it as a media device and it works perfectly good but in this video i'm going to be actually using this keyboard right here which is the logitech k400 i think it is and the cool thing is that for example the initial setup you're always going to need a keyboard of course and all you got to do is plug one of these ir uh receivers right there right a bluetooth receiver right there and that's it that's how you're gonna go ahead and do the initial setup so I, honestly i recommend to actually have uh one of these keyboards because you you're of course gonna have to use it to do the initial setup now while using this computer i gotta say it actually works pretty good i connected it to my tv which is a 55 inch 4k hdr tv and it works pretty damn good i have no problems whatsoever when it comes using this device as a computer because that's what it is it's a computer but you can actually actually use it as a you know home theater pc as well of course you can actually use the available usb ports to connect like uh, external hard drives and get uh, store um, videos from there which i actually recommend because i like i said the internal storage of this device is only 32 gigabytes and that's not going to be enough for all your media consumption pleasures uh, it's not going to be enough because uh, right away you're going to get once you start updating all the applications and um, putting on the device the essential apps that you're going to need for for example if you're going to use this for for like excel and all that stuff which it's going to work perfectly good um you're going to consume um storage so i honestly recommend using an external drive and have all your media from there and play it from there compared to the first one this one actually feels a little bit faster um even though the ram is basically almost the same but the cpu is actually better because it's the the apollo lake processor i can't remember what was the processor of the old one but this one actually has the apollo processor also of course i use this to try out like cody and it actually works pretty damn good uh, the advantage of having the windows store 
uh, what's cool there is that you're gonna get all the applications that you can download to any Windows PC you can download it to this device which is really good you can install Steam and you can install any video game out there in the market but keep in mind uh, this device is not meant for gaming and sometimes even running normal typical basic games like uh, Asphalt Extreme which is a phone game it actually was stuttering a lot and it was basically unplayable Playable. But what's a very good experience with this device is if you're going to use it as a media consumption device. If you're going to use it to watch Netflix, Hulu, um, or you use Kodi or use Plex. And of course, the other cool thing about the device is that it actually comes with Windows 10 Pro, not Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro. And this device is only $199, which is really good considering that, you know, you, this is a full blown PC. Um, so honestly, like I said, this is not going to be your powerhouse gaming device, but this can easily be anybody's great home theater PC, uh, especially for teenagers. And if you have kids that have like a TV and a monitor, a computer monitor, this would be awesome because you would be able to connect like a computer like monitor to the device. And you can also connect the HDMI to a TV. So the kid can be working on homeworks and all that on the TV while watching videos on the other one, which is a very cool device to do. Multitasking is not getting, like I said, it's not going to struggle when it comes to watching media and doing common PC homework or PC work at all. And of course, browsing, you can change the browser to whatever browser you want. And everything that you can do in Windows, you can basically do here on this $200 device. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys liked the video. And please uh, le uh, click the link in the bottom, which I'm going to leave for this device that you can actually purchase it from Amazon. Keep in mind, this is the only version available right now. But like I said, there is a eight gigabyte version. But right now, as I'm doing this video, it's not in stock. It will be in stock later on, but it's going to be a lot more expensive. $200, honestly, not bad for what you're getting. So guys, thanks for watching the video. This was an unboxing and hands-on look of the Azul Byte 3 Mini Desktop PC. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.